Ball Paddle 2024 is here and I have tested the entire range. So in this video, I've picked out the top models. We're gonna review them, explain the differences and find out which one is my favorite. Let's go. All right, so up first, I've got the Ball Paddle K2 Power. Now, this was the racket that I chose from like the beginners and early intermediate range of Ball Paddle. So I tested all of the beginners and early intermediate models and this one was my favorite for that sort of level. Someone that's starting to play paddle and something that's gonna allow them to sort of improve with and grow into as they play. It's a hybrid shape and it's very responsive and what I mean by that is the ball comes off the racket quite quickly Big sweet spot in this area here. It's a really fun racket to play with because it's really easy power It's got a carbon frame and structure around this throat here making it quite durable and strong and at the price point of around hundred pounds That's quite rare to find a racket with that extra strength in the carbon frame and that durability around the throat One final thing about the racket is it does have the strap that adjusts around your wrist Which I know a lot of players like by the way if you've got any questions about any any of these ball paddle rackets you can hop on to everythingpaddle.co.uk and you can message me personally on the whatsapp i will respond to every single message if you don't get a response from me just send the message again and it'll bump up to the top of my whatsapp because i do get a lot of these messages right up next i've got the ball paddle ionic control and the ball paddle ionic power if you're looking at your intermediate range for ball paddle so this being the ionic control this one is round and this is the ionic power this one is diamond round shape diamond shape low balance high balance centered sweet spot high Higher sweet spot. Both of these have textured surfaces, it's like little bumps all over them, and they both use this material called glaphite. So, glaphite is essentially a mix of fiberglass and carbon. So, if you don't know, fiberglass is a very soft material, and carbon's a lot stronger material. So, you do get a very good mix of power and comfort. If you're a player that feels like they need more control in their game and they need to slow it down and look to place the ball, they're hitting too many balls that go straight on the back glass, then I definitely would recommend the control version. However, if you're a player that actually feels like power is lacking in their game and, they, and they're struggling to finish off the point a little bit more, then definitely would recommend the power. This is more head heavy, more attacking, and a lot more responsive. People often ask me about the differences between a control and diamond racket. Essentially, you're gonna to have to work harder with this one, the control one, to get more power, and you're gonna to have to be more careful with this one to get a lot of control. All right, moving up now to the advanced paddle rackets. These are the top end new ball paddle rackets for 2024. First of all, just in general, the, the quality of these rackets is some of the best I've seen in the market. Ball Paddle are the number one paddle brand and you can definitely see that when you get these rackets. One thing to quickly say about the range is you'll notice at the high-end models there is no control racket. There's just Vertex Hybrid, Hack Hybrid and then your normal Vertex and Hack. And this is because Ball Paddle have noticed in the professional game there's a lot more volley to volley, the points are getting slightly faster. So it's not as necessary now to have a high-end control racket because the pro players need these faster rackets that are going to make faster points but also more maneuverability for them. This is a hybrid shape so kind of that mix of power and control. This particular model has a really rough sandpaper surface. You can see that and one technology I just have to talk to you about is this curve active technology you can see it here in simple terms this just makes the racket more maneuverable so in those faster volley battles where you have to move your racket real quick it's going to be a little bit easier to do so it's got the vibra drive system to reduce vibrations to your arm so better for players that have slight arm issues or a bit of tennis elbow and finally this is the first racket in the range so far that has this hessa core grip so you see how it's slightly bumpy i've put an overgrip over the top of it but essentially makes the uh, grip more bumpy and your fingers kind of fit in between the little bumps and ball paddle are saying that increases comfort reduces the probability of injury with tennis elbow and ball paddle also has the custom weight system it doesn't come with the racket you have to buy them separately but up here and here and here you can add your own custom weights making the racket more head heavy if you wish so Whew. if you've watched my videos before you know i like the ones with a good mix of power and control. I have been using this a little bit in tournaments as well. And for me, it just offers that really nice balance of both power and control. All right, moving on now to the Hack Hybrid. So this is in the Hack range now. We just had the Vertex Hybrid, now the Hack Hybrid. Bit of a confusing one with this one. This racket is essentially, it's still round. It's a little bit weird, but they've kept the shape round, even though they're calling it Hack Hybrid. Balance is low on this one, so it doesn't feel head heavy at all. This one uses tricarbon, which is really strong and really firm. Hack models are firmer and stronger than the Vertex. So when you're looking at the differences between the Vertex and the hack 
Vertex is a little bit softer and the hack is a little bit firmer. Textured surface as well, it's got like little bumps over that, you can see that. This one also has the Hesacore grip and it uses the Vibra Drive system as well. Not a huge difference between this and the Vertex, it just feels a bit firmer, a bit stiffer. You just do get that fast ball speed. When you really accelerate, ball comes off quick. Now, moving on to the Vertex 04. So this is an incredibly powerful model. This is Juan Tello's racket. Don't know Juan Tello, he's one of the best players in the world, and he will be using this racket in the World Paddle Tour. This is a diamond-shaped racket. It's got high balance and high sweet spot. It's got the Curve Active technology we talked about earlier. It's got a sandpaper surface, got the Hesacore grip, got the Vibra Drive system. So essentially the same as the Vertex Hybrid. It's just diamond shape, high sweet spot on the high balance. But yeah, this is for super aggressive players, players that want a really big smash, that would love to play the really attacking overheads, the fast volleys as well. It's gonna be unreal for that. And finally, I've got the Hack 0324, which is now, it's got different designs on each side, which is pretty cool to play with. You know, you can play your forehand on the black, and your backhand on the orange. And this is Paquito Navarro's racket. Again, Paquito Navarro is one of the best players in the world. He'll be using this in the World Paddle Tour. This is the most powerful racket in the entire range. So if you want a powerful racket, look no further than the Hack 03. Essentially, exactly the same specification as the Vertex. It just used this, the tri-carbon material. And rather than that Curve Active, it uses the Air React channel. So when testing this one, obviously you notice the power. You really have to go for your shots to feel it. If you just sort of hit lightly, you don't really feel anything. And if you hit a volley fast with a lot of spin, that's when you just feel the ball come off the racket real quick. Oh. Forgot to mention that the Vertex 04 is the best-selling performance racket of all time. So against, you know, all of the other high-end rackets from other, other brands and other ranges, this is the best-selling one. But this is the most powerful one in the range. So sort of comparing these two, this one, again, it's just a little bit softer than this one having that just a, a touch more comfort, but it's, they're still both incredibly powerful. The links to all of these rackets are in the description below. You can check them out on everythingpaddle.co.uk. There's more information there, and also any questions, feel free to message me as well.